Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn GCP with Mahesh. Today we'll explore an interactive tutorial on Cloud IoT Core. So usually Google Cloud Platform provides you lots of interactive tutorials, really helpful for beginners. So let's see one of one of such uh, interactive tutorial. So click on this link. If you click, it will open up the console and on your right hand side, you will have a step by step instruction. That's what we are going to do today on Cloud IoT Core. So make sure you have selected the right project and uh, make sure you have opened your your cloud shell environment because the entire tutorial will be based on G cloud commands. So let's follow the tutorial. Click on next. Select the project ID. Let's confirm it and we have activated our cloud shell and it shows we have not enabled our APIs. So let's enable it by clicking on this link and it's now enabling the API. Once it is enabled, you should see a green tick. So let's wait for that. APIs are enabled. So click on next. So for this, the most important thing is a pop sub topic. So this is the first starting point. Let's create it. The advantage of using this uh, interactive tutorial is if you just click on this icon, the command gets pasted into your cloud shell environment. That's the beauty of this interactive uh, tutorials. Hit enter so it should create a, a topic and once you create the topic the next step should be definitely to create a subscription that should be our next step so let's click on this so it's going to create a subscription for the topic which we just created hit enter it's getting created so let's move on it's got created let me clear the screen so that we get a better view and make it up and click on next so next part is uh, we will create a mqtt a sample which will send the the messages for that you need to clone this uh, github repository no need to remove this i assume uh, you have not started this tutorial before so i'm not going to do this part and i'm going to just clone this repository let it clone let's move on to the next step so once it is cloned we will cd into this folder node.js hyphen docs hyphen exam samples hyphen iot because there are lots of other tutorials so we need to exactly um, change our directory to iot thing so because there are lots of iot related stuffs in that folder the first step is to install all the dependencies and since it is using node.js we will be using npm uh, install here so let's install all the dependencies and installing these dependencies will take longer time so i'm going to pause the video and come back once the dependencies are installed the dependencies are installed successfully let's clear the screen so that we get more space here the next step is to install uh, an im uh, to give a permission for this service account which will get created by running this script so let me hit copy this but i'm not going to hit enter i just wanted to show you how this gets created so let's go into this tab which shows the topic which we had created using the gcloud command and if you select those things you will have this option of show info panel and if you just click on this you can see what are the members who has access to this resource Currently don't see any service account here specifically for the one which you are about to create. So with this background, let's go and hit enter. And you should have this service account created. Now I have just created it. Let's refresh the screen. The screen has refreshed. So if I select this topic on my right hand side, you should see the service account being added so let me scroll down and you should see this one pubsub publisher member this is the one which we added since the tutorial was not bit clear there i thought i'll emphasize on this part so let's go to the next step clear the screen click on next the next step is to register a uh, create a device registry so this is like a um, directory pages for your telephone so it's like something very similar you need to have this registry will device registry will really helpful 
when you want to register a specific device so that is a whole reason so click on this and you will see the notification is sent to our topic uh, or to our PubSub topic which we just created and currently um, IOT core is available in a limited region so let's use a default one which is US Central hit enter and the registry should be created device registry and let's move on to the next step and the device so there should be a, some way of uh, security in place so that's where you need to create a, a signing key for the device so for that let's create the keys there are two types of keys which will just generate it so before i run this i just want to show you what is there so there's no keys here so if i I rerun this command. It should generate RS-256 and ES-256 uh, files. And if I put LS, you should see RS files and ES files also. But we will be using primarily RS-256 files only for our uh, signing purpose. Let's move on to the next step this is the most important part you are adding a device to the registry so if you see here the name of our device is my node device the project id the region and the key which is for signing purpose so let's hit enter and click on next on the screen so almost done so it's now just send our telemetry data from our virtual device that's the whole key thing let's uh, cd into this folder where there's an example and as usual we need to install our uh, node.js dependencies let's install it let me pause the video dependencies are installed so let's clear the screen and most important stuff so this is where we are going to send our telemetry information so let's explore all those informations here so we are going to send 25 messages so once it reaches the IoT core, it will be pushed to your PubSub topic. So that's the key here. So let's hit enter and you should see it is about to generate 25 messages. So payload till it ends with payload 25. You should see the contents there. So let me just pause the video here. So it's generating. So once it comes to 25, it is going to stop there and everything will be in PubSub queue done the connection is closed let's clear the screen now the last step is to receive those messages by using a subscriber so let me click on the next step so this is the step so you can pull the topic from the subscribe using the subscriber so you are mentioning auto auto acknowledge here and 25 messages are or topics are pushed Order will never be guaranteed, but at least one time delivery will be guaranteed. So let's hit enter. So which will pull our first message or topic. So let's wait for that. It's not coming. So let's give one more try. Okay, the first, uh, first topic is received. And if you see, the order is never guaranteed. It's payload five. So this is one thing what we can do is clear the screen and if you want to get uh, we know 25 uh, topics are pushed so what you can do is add a flag here limit limit uh, we have uh, 24 messages left so let's uh, retrieve the 10 first so that you can auto acknowledge and receive all the 10 at one shot so that's what it indicates here you see good now let's do one more time good we are receiving almost everything now so i guess there should be no more topics we have received almost everything. Let's see, is there anything left over there? Okay, a few more are left. Okay, it's not showing, it's not retrieving all 10 at a shot. That's what I understand. 
no worries we'll make sure we receive all the messages this time it should be almost empty that's my understanding okay a few more are still there so you can do the same stuff to retrieve everything so try one more time got all the 25 messages are received good so that's the end of the tutorial so we did a complete end-to-end -end where we created a device registry added a device created a topic and the messages were virtually sent uh, using the script and we were able to receive that using our subscription now if you want to see the same stuff you can click on the iot core here so and you see on this uh, animation which google has created uh, very nice if you click on this they show you you need to go to the hamburger menu click on this this is a beauty i really like this part for beginners this interactive uh, tutorials will really really help a lot so this is the device registry and we are almost done if you just click on next it will show you congratulations uh, you have done it so giving a feedback is really good so i'm really satisfied with this close the tutorial and couple of steps which i wanted to show you here cleaning up the process so you cannot directly delete a registry because there's already a device there so when you try to delete it it will show you an error there's a device already connected so please delete the uh, device and then you can delete the registry by clicking on that registry you should see the the details of the device so let's wait for that so you see devices if you click on that you will see the device which we had registered my node device so just select this delete it and once this is deleted you should be able to delete your uh, registry also so let's click on the hamburger menu the iot core and now if you click on this you should be able to delete the registry by just mentioning the device registry name click on this so this gets cleaned up and the last step is make sure the topic and the subscription and the topic is also deleted so this is a, a cleaning process a half skipping stuff which is really helpful delete it and then uh, close the tutorial so that would be a best practice i would say so that's how one can uh, explore the iot is explore your uh, interactive tutorials in gcp and hope the demo on iot core really helped you a lot uh, please let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a video on a specific gcp concept i'm happy to do that thanks for watching